everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing a little first impression slash first impression review i got the new kayali girl where is it okay girl so one of you guys one of you amazing people girls that follow me on here mama put her instagram you guys want to follow her and a girl she is like literally the sweetest person ever she sent me the travel size of kayali's um yum pistachio new perfume because she told me that she wanted me to review it i told her that i wasn't going to review it because i did see a lot of reviews and a lot of people were very disappointed and i told her maybe i'll go and smell it at sephora and she was like oh i'll gift it to you and i was like girl i literally i was like no that's okay but she was like um like i love your channel like it's like a little gift and i was like oh my god like girl what you're so sweet <laughs> but um so thank you so much for that like i've been curious of how it smells because of all of the reviews so that's why i really wanted to go to sephora but now i have it so um yeah the reviews that i've been seeing are very mixed reviews when i first saw the uh, Kayal Instagram post this I was like ooh like I was thinking like I love pistachio ice cream and it's supposed to be pistachio gelato so I'm assuming it's not supposed to be as like ice cream like but still I was thinking it was going to be like milky nutty sweet you know like that vibe and a lot of people have been saying that it's very citrusy that it smells like limones like something that it was just the total opposite and I was like ooh girl the tea the tea of it all so now I'm excited so let me look up the notes because we're gonna get into this girl we're gonna get into this the main accords are su sweet woody vanilla citrusy powdery nutty and warm spicy girl it has notes of pistachio bergamot ice cream rum hazelnut a lot i'm gonna put them on the screen because i'm not reading all of these but the ones that stand out to me are the pistachio of course the ice cream like girl ice cream um lily of the valley i love lily of the valley pear and whipped cream marshmallow cotton candy and that candy is the candy that they they show on the narnia movie look you remember when the lady like gives him the one who portrays the family that is that candy i always crave that candy when i watched that scene i was like i want that and i actually have tried it and i don't like it <laughs> they just made it look good in the movie okay so now what i'm gonna do is open it and get my first initial reaction to it like i'm saying i haven't smelled it and what i'm picturing was well initially what i was picturing was like a sweet nutty kind of milky type of um scent also kind of fresh maybe because it's supposed to be like a frozen treat but we'll see girl we'll see i love the color of it even the box is super cute so let's go ahead and i'm gonna give you my honest honest brutal honest opinion about this so here is oh girl they don't fill these up do they do that to all of them um but this is like you see that girl that's a few sprays that could have been in there like it like that ass looks used look you see that it looks used i don't know maybe i'm just dumb and these this is how all they come obviously it's not used because um it was wrapped obviously but anyways enough of that i'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my hand yeah i don't have any fragrance on here so we're gonna go and spray it there here we go girl Ooh. <coughs> girl i sprayed too much mm, that is interesting girl okay the first thing i smell to be honest is a nutty scent i'm not even gonna lie i was expecting it to be more citrusy because i did see people saying that it was like super citrusy but okay. i kind of like it why do i like it i do like it what the heck <laughs> i thought i wasn't gonna like it do for some reason I'm getting like powdery and nutty vibes and it almost reminds me of Ellie Saab Girl of Now but like a little bit more citrusy or fruitier maybe but I do like it it is very citrusy but not the citrus that I was expecting by the way other people are reviewing okay it. but like the more I smell it now it's drying down to a soapy like a soap it smells like soap girl like a hand soap what is going on with this perfume girl it's like it starts off citrusy a little nutty like you smell almonds or the pistachio and powderiness but then it dries down and it's like a powdery bar of soap okay i'm starting to not like it now okay i'm gonna spray it again because i'm this is such a roller coaster girl okay i honestly feel like the first initial blast i really liked it 
but then the dry down i completely i do not like the dry down at all i'm gonna spray my other hand yeah it definitely like changes up a lot i i'm down with the opening but obviously i wouldn't buy this because i'm not going to wear it if the dry down is that bad for me personally it smells yes the opening like i've been saying it is very like a bit gourm of that gourmand that you were expecting it's citrusy a little bit but you i definitely got the almonds and powderiness but the dry down just completely changes it goes like soapy citrusy and fresh very green also and i feel like it's a bit too intoxicating if you were to put this on on, the, that dry down is just not I mean, it. I'm not saying like oh gag gross like I'm gonna throw up no like it's still okay if I smell this around I won't be like ew she's most nasty girl like no I will say it's it's not a horrible smelling scent, but I do understand I'm coming from the fact that like I'm gonna pop these out look like right here, right here, right here. These pictures are not giving what this dries down to. Um, unfortunately, I wouldn't even put this like in a top 100 favorites. <laughs> And I feel like the cardamom, because that note is very strong. Like I feel like that note can overpower hazelnut, bergamot, pistachio any day of the week and i feel like the cardamom note i don't even know if i'm saying that right because i call it cardamom because i see the word mom but anyways you guys know what i'm talking about um i feel like i have a perfume that is mainly based on that note and that is just like all you smell is very strong or like yeah any flower notes i feel like she should have kept it very gourmand if anything yeah no i wouldn't have put flowers in there the base notes are fine because they're all like edible sweet ones maybe just the woodiness but that never really hurts a uh, gourmand fragrance and honestly like i think her van i i only own her vanilla one vanilla 28 i own the eden juicy apple in the little travel size and those are beautiful fragrances but even the eden juicy apple i feel like it gives me you i feel like you can find dupes for that one um and it's, it also kind of gives a little bit of a body mist vibe. But it is a beautiful scent nonetheless. But I feel like your other... The only one that I do want to own is the Coco Utopia. Because I do actually really like that one. I just haven't purchased it. But I think those are the only two Kayali fragrances that I actually would like purchase um, and own. Because this one... I smell all her other ones and I'm not like the biggest fan of So yeah, I definitely kind of see where some people who were upset with this one come from because I totally, it was like a roller coaster with this one. In the beginning, I thought I was really, really loving it. And then the dry down was just like very soapy and citrusy. I feel like maybe the cardamom is what ruined this perfume. But anyways, girls, that is my brutally honest first impression review about the new Kayali one. I know I'm a little late, but who cares, girl? Like, whatever. If, if you're watching this, and you like it give it a thumbs up girl um go smell it yourself you know they have it at sephora if you're really wanting to get an opinion and if you can't go to sephora obviously go and smell it um everybody has different opinions like i always say in every type of like review video don't take just my word don't let my word influence you way too much because this is all just my personal opinion and the way that i smell things so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up girl subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.